Yo, Elliot, I quit my office job at the end of last year, and I'm com- currently woofing in my home country of the UK. And if I understand correctly, that's like organic farming. Like you, you bounce from farm to farm, or you kind of like go and live for free at, fa- at certain farms, organic farms, and you know they give you a place to live, but then you work on the farm, which is pretty cool. I think that's a great path for young men to engage, you know, if you don't know what you're doing you know, as an in-between, uh, you know, phases of your life. That's pretty cool. He says, I'm currently uh, enjoying volunteering on the farm, but I'm wondering if I should go to a foreign country if it would help build my character even further. Do you think going abroad would be a good idea at this time when travel is more difficult than ever? Which countries do you think I should consider traveling to? Or should I just travel to different parts of the UK and embrace my own culture? I like what you said last. Travel different parts of your own country and embrace your own culture. This goes right back to that whole idea of having a foundation or being a high flyer, right? And I think that the I think the high flying is done. I think the high flying generation uh, or, or 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 era is coming to an end with these lockdowns, right? With COVID, COVID has made it very difficult for us to travel. And in a way I'm sort of relieved because like yourself, I've said to my, I've considered, you know, if I'm going to travel, why not discover my own backyard, right? And even my own backyard for me right now, my own backyard is Florida. That's it. I can't even really go anywhere in the United States because there's other States that are, have tyrannical lockdowns. Like I have family members in New York and they're like, oh, you come up for my, it's my uncle's birthday. Come up to New York for Uncle Lloyd's birthday. And I'm like, do I need to have a Vax card? Do I need to, do I need to wear a mask everywhere I go? Do I have to deal with these people and these, and, and all this garbage? And I'm like, you know what? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. But then again, don't take my word for it. Like I said, I'm a boomer. I'm getting old. So I just want to be heavy. I want to grow roots. And even in terms of, of masculine frame, I think I'll give you to give you a, 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 an analogy somebody gave to me once. It's pretty cool, but I'll give you my opinion first. You remember I said the other day that where the king is, order ensues around him, right? A king doesn't go traveling looking for a kingdom. Do you know that? A king doesn't unless you know there are some kings that get you know homeless but for the most part a king what makes a king is that he's got a castle and inside that castle he has a throne and what he does in that throne is he sits and as he sits his kingdom orders itself around him it's very masculine in my opinion it's very king-like to get heavy where you are to establish where you are. Will, I'm answer, I'm in the middle of answering your question right now, Will. I see you just, I see you just joined. You, let me backtrack a moment since you just got here. Uh, you say, should I, the last thing you said is, should I travel to different parts of the UK and embrace my own culture? My answer is yes. That's the one that I think you should best do. Earlier, we were talking about high flyers versus foundation layers. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use that a lot, right? A king lays a foundation, a king, where I said, I, like I said last week, where the king is, order ensues around him. It is your question, Will. This is your question, Will. I'm answering your question. And I think you should stay where you are, but I'm trying to explain why. Let me backtrack again for you. Well, I actually probably heard everything since you came on. Prior to your question, I was talking about how we have a tendency as men to be high flyers. We live in a high flying generation where we think that life needs to be experienced on wings. Life needs to be experienced out there somewhere, over there somewhere, way up. And we have all these high ideals and we live in a state of imagination. And I'm not so sure that that is actually the way a strong, masculine, kingly man operates, especially given the fact that, as I was saying again for the third time, that where a king is, order ensues around him. A king is a man that allows himself to be, and allowing yourself to be means you grow roots. Grow roots where you are, right? And if you're gonna grow roots, it's good to know where your roots are, right? And so exploring your own backyard, 
knowing what's going on in your own home, right? Knowing your own country. Like I used to think like you that I was going to do a whole lot of traveling. Then I started getting old and stiff and then lockdowns happened. I was like, yeah, you know what? I might never leave Florida. Even traveling around the United States is, is, is like off limits to me at this point, because I'm not going to play. Every time we comply with their mandates, we validate their tyranny. I just want you guys to know that. I know it's, it seems so normal now. Oh, just put on a mask. What's the big deal? It's not the mask. That's the ease. That's, it's not the mask. I, I'm not against masks. It's just a piece of fabric. It's the compliance. Every time we comply, we validate. So you know what I've decided? And of course, I'm different than you guys, you know, but I have to speak from, my, from where I am. I just won't do anything. I just won't go anywhere. Fuck you. That's my attitude. Oh, yeah. Like I had a woman. I was supposed to take my daughter. We were going to go see this lady that does like this uh, brainwave trek thing, right? It's like an upgraded sink. I was like, wow, that sounds pretty cool. I want to try it out. I'm going to bring my daughter. And the, before we got there, she sends me an email saying we got to wear masks. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, miss. Uh, my, my family doesn't comply with masks. And so she gave me a little sob story about her mom and why. But I was like, well, that's okay. I'm just going to find somewhere else to go. Why? Because the mini, when you comply, the tyranny is rolled on thicker, right? You, this is what has gotten us to where we are, that life is so weird in our world right now. Because good people just say, okay, what's the big deal? It doesn't hurt. Just go along with it. And you know what they say? You give an inch, they take a mile. And this is where we're at. This is how we got where we're at. I was also talking uh, about how woofing is, is a pretty cool idea, uh, Will. I think that's great that you're doing it. My opinion is just from this, where I am right now, what I feel like saying is that it may be best. It's it, my opinion. It's best to, and I think this is just going to be the way of the world moving forward because we're, because we've been such a high flying culture, people are going, and I see it happening. So I know that what I'm saying is true. People are going to be exploring their own backyards a lot more. People are going to get more involved with their communities a lot more. People are going to explore their own culture right a lot more this whole idea of multiculturalism makes people lost multiculturalism makes people forget who they are they completely lose their values there's no boundaries that nobody stands for anything anymore it's a it's a sad thing multiculturalism sounds like a high ideal but what it does is it dilutes the beauty of the individual cultures Multiculturalism is ugly because it flattens everybody out, makes everything plain. We all got to get along. We all got to be the same. Multiculturalism only works for global totalitarian corporate takeover. That's the only thing that it works well for. Why? Because they know that they can market to the same customer. If everybody has the same values, everybody has the same ways of thinking, being, doing, and so on and so forth, and we're all blurred into a multicultural mess, then the marketers and the world rulers, they know what to say to everyone to get them all to comply. This is why we are where we are with 2020, right? Multiculturalism has allowed the whole world to fall under the spell of the globalists. There are a couple of countries though that are like, nah, we ain't doing that. Right. Like Haiti. Haiti has no interest in being multicultural. All right, we ain't doing it. Right. There are a couple of countries in, in you know, Africa, South America. I think some of the uh, Muslim countries, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of the Muslim countries, they're like, uh, no, nah, we're not doing that. Right. Like you don't hear about what they're doing in Iran. I don't hear too much about Iraq. Right. Like, have you heard about COVID, you know, COVID numbers in uh, in Kuwait? In Bangladesh, have you heard anybody talking about that? No, <laughs> no, because they've decided to retain their culture. They've decided that multiculturalism will destroy our culture. And they're right. That's, that's why Muslim, that's why Islam is the fastest growing religion on the planet, because they still have boundaries. Catholics have no boundaries. Christians have no boundaries. Oh, everything's OK. Everybody's free. Everybody's OK. Muslim ain't going to do that. Muslim don't think everybody's OK. <laughs> Right. They're very firm about their boundaries, but that's why they're not getting walked all over right now with this multicultural mess and COVID. Check out those countries. 
right? Some of the African countries and the, and, and the Arab countries, they ain't complying, they ain't complying with that bullshit. So I know I'm talking around in a lot of different circles right here. Where am I going with this? I think there's gonna be a trend towards nationalism. I think there's gonna be a trend towards uh, uh, ethnocentrism, right? And you're starting to kind of see it, right? Like white people are getting mad, especially European white people. I can't blame them. They're getting mad because they're like, they've become the demons, right? <laughs> they've become the bad guy. And then multiculturalism is pre basically white, is wiping white people out, right? Both, both uh, genetically as well as ideologically, right? So if I was if I was in the UK, I'd want to know the UK. Me, I'm a Florida man. All American Americans multicultural. That's just what it is. So we our ident we have no identity really, right? Even if we're from a European country, or you know, if you're from an African country, you're somewhere where your ancestors knew who they were. We don't know who we are, right? So the best that I can do is say I'm a Floridian and I'm gonna know everything about Florida. I, I bought a copy of the Florida Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, because you know what? At some point, the UK, and here's the thing about the UK too, the UK has a tendency to do its own thing regardless of the EU. I don't even think y'all are a part of the EU anymore. That type of balkanization is gonna in, ensue here in, in the United States too. We're gonna, certain states are gonna be like, nah, we secede, we don't, we will not comply. So this is the age of buckling down. That's what I think. We're moving into the era of buckling down, settling down, hunkering down and, and reinforcing our, our forces, right? Can't do that when you're flitting and flying and butterflying all over the place. So keep woofing, bro, but do it at home. I think there's a lot of benefit to that. That's my opinion on that, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.